to not beat the price, but even to match it. You get it all, only $9.99. At $9.99, untouchable value. 22 News, Sunday mornings at 7 and 9. longest-running televised high school quiz program in the country. Tonight, West Springfield High School matches wits with Minichog Regional High School. And now your host, John Barron. When good Saturday evening, everyone, and a hearty welcome to the folks here in our studio audience. Uh, last Saturday night, if you're with us, you'll remember Taconic High School qualified for the playoffs, becoming the fifth team to actually make it to the playoffs. They'll be joining Enfield High School, Longmeadow High School, Holyoke Catholic High School, and St. Joseph Central High School for Pittsfield. That means, as we always do, we'll be inviting two new schools to the show this week. I'll get to the player introductions after the first set of questions. So we welcome West Springfield High School and Minichog Regional High School. West Springfield won the toss. So West Springfield, what will be the first category tonight? I'll take math and science for 30, please. Here's an easy one. What is the smallest natural number? One. One, yes. You've got it. All right. More about the natural numbers now. Ten points for each correct answer. What is the sum of the first three odd natural numbers? Nine. Nine, yes. You got it in time. What's the sum of the first five odd natural numbers? It would have been correct. 25 was correct, yes. No credit there, though. Think now, what is the sum of the first 20-odd natural numbers? Yeah. 400. Just need to take the square of the number, okay? We go to Minichog Regional. Social studies for 30, please. Social studies for 30. In an alphabetical listing of the 43 presidents of the United States, which comes last? Wilson. A chance to capitalize West Springfield. Woodrow Wilson. You've got it. The capitalization early goes to West Springfield. Okay. Several U.S. presidents had successful public careers after their presidencies. Ten, ten points for each you can identify. Our sixth chief executive later served as a congressman from Massachusetts. Who? John Quincy Adams. That's correct. The 10th president was later elected to the Confederate Congress. John Tyler. And our 17th president was elected to the U.S. Senate from Tennessee. Andrew Johnson. You've got it. Okay, we'll stay with Russ Springfield for their rightful turn after the capitalization. Grab bag for 30, please. Named for the author of The Prince, this adjective is referred to as anyone who is merciless, clever, and unethical to obtain goals. Machiavellian. Machiavellian, yes. All right. We go to the screen for the first time tonight. Other adjectives derived from familiar authors now. Ten points. This term is used to describe anything bleak and oppressive, especially a political situation. Orwellian. Yes. Body or grotesque humor is said to be this. Runyon-esque? No, nope, Rabelaisian. And it's a term used to refer to any underworld person or even a likable rogue. Homeric? No, that would be Runyon-esque. Uh, we go back to Minichog Regional, please. History from 34. Of these secretaries general to the United Nations, which served first, you thought? Kurt Waldheim, Kofi Annan, or Dag Hammarskjöld? Dag Hammarskjöld. You've got it, yes. All right, back to the screen, please. All right, which Secretary General served during each of these historical incidents? Five points. The Six Days War. Utant. Yes, 1967. The assassination of John F. Kennedy. Kurt Waldheim. No, again, Utant, 1963. Operation Desert Storm. Uh, uh, Dolly. No, I'm sorry. Javier Perez de K.R. The Fall of Saigon. Utant. No, Kurt Waldheim. 
the Oklahoma City bombing. Puchos Gali. Puchos, Puchos Gali, yes, 1995. How about the Munich Olympics? Waldheim. Waldheim, Kurt Waldheim, you've got it okay. Back to West Springfield, please. Uh, John Alex, 30. Despite attacks from other tribes, this Jewish leader succeeded in unifying ancient Israel about 1000 BC. Was this Saul, David, Solomon, or Jonathan? Solomon. No, a chance to capitalize Minichar. Saul. No, I'm sorry. David will toss it aside. A chance to capitalize goes by the wayside. We'll stay with Minichog, please. Guys, we have to go. Literature for 30. Literature it is. Written against the background of the new poor law of 1834, this Charles Dickens novel depicts the world of poverty, crime, and the workhouse of 19th century London. What book is this? Oliver Twist. You've got it. You're in. More about that famous novel now for 10 points. In what 19th century decade was the book written? The 1820s, the 1830s, or the 1840s? 1840s. 1840s? 1830s. Oliver falls into the hands of a gang of thieves headed by this man whose name contains Dodger. five letters. Dodger. Dodger? No, Fagan. And finally, with the help of Nancy, Bill Sykes, and Jack Dawkins, Fagan tries to make Oliver into a thief. What is Jack Dawkins' more familiar nickname? The Artful Dodger. The Artful Dodger is it. Okay. We go back to West Springfield, please. Sports Entertainment for 30, please. I'm sorry. Sports Entertainment for 30, please. Sports and Entertainment for 30. Archie Griffin of Ohio State is the only college athlete to win two of these awards. What award? He did it in 1974 and 1975. The Heisman Trophy? That's it, yes. NFL quarterbacks now. I'll name a quarterback for five points. You tell me the team. Dante Culpepper. The Vikings? Yes. Donovan McNabb. The Titans? The Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brian Greasy? The Jets? The Denver Broncos. Chad Pennington? The Jets? The Jets is right, yes. The despised New York Jets, <laughs> at least from the host's perspective. Peyton Manning. The Colts? The Colts, right. And how about Mark Brunel? The Jaguars? The Jaguars. Nicely done. Okay. We go back to Minichuk, please. Social studies for 25, please. What is the current name of the Chinese city whose former name is Peiping? Beijing. 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 Beijing is right. Yes. Again to the screen, please. <laughs> From former to current names. I'll give the former name of a certain world city for five points. You tell me the current name. Stalingrad, USSR. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. No. Volgograd, Russia. Don't forget to read the screen, folks. Christiania, Norway. Oslo. Correct, yes. Danzig, Poland. Gdansk. 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 Batavia, Indonesia. Jakarta. Correct, yes. And how about Leningrad, USSR? St. Petersburg. There you go, St. Petersburg. All right, West Springfield, please. Math and science for 25. Of the following, which object will hit the ground first if all are dropped from the same height at the same time in a vacuum? A baseball, an anvil, a feather, or a paperback novel? All at the same time. That's right, yes. To the screen again, please. On to Nobel Prize winners in physics now. I'll give the year and the description for five points. Who won? 1922, for investigation of the structure of atoms. Niels Bohr? Correct. 1932, for the creation of quantum mechanics. Heisenberg? Is right, yes. 1903, for the discovery of spontaneous radioactivity. Runton? No, Henri Becquerel. 1901, for the discovery of x-rays. Runton? Röntgen, yes. Röntgen. Wilhelm Röntgen, yeah. And finally, 1960, for the invention of the bubble chamber. Donald Glaser? Correct, yes, you've got it. And with that, folks, 
We'll take our first break, get you acquainted with our sponsors, and I'll introduce you to our players right after this short break. Come on, back. In a world where 0% means everything, but time is limited, this is an opportunity of economic proportions during Ford's President's Day sales event. Get 0% financing for 60 months on vehicles like Taurus, Ranger, Windstar, and Explorer Sport. And 0% for 60 months could save you thousands over the next five years. It's a story of passion and of saving money. The President's Day event at your New England Ford dealers. Starring 0% financing, your future is now. The 22 News Consumer Team, saving you time and money, Monday at 5. The cost of prescription drugs is astronomical, forcing particularly senior citizens to head north of the border into Canada or to buy them from Canadian websites. But are there any risks? Should our seniors be forced to go to such extremes? This is Dan Elias. Join me and see what, if anything, can be done to help make prescription drugs more affordable. Monday at 5, the 22 News Consumer Team is working for you. We've got a great weekend. I'm in love with you. We're giving away the bride. Seventy-six trombones caught the morning sun. Don't miss the fun. On live. Yeah. Monday at 9 on 22 News. You are cordially invited to attend Joey and Maria's Comedy Italian Wedding, a fundraiser for the Chicopee Rotary Club, March 29th at the Hooky Lounge. Cocktails start at 6 p.m. with the wedding at 7. For tickets, call 593-5222. Joey and Maria's Comedy Italian Wedding, the not-so-ordinary interactive dinner theater, March 29th. 22 News, working for you. And our score stands right now 80 for West Springfield High School, 45 for the folks from Minnetonk Regional High School. Let's get acquainted with the folks uh, from West Springfield High School. Again, they're here for their first time tonight. We welcome Adam Jang, a junior. And medicine is in your future. Yep, I'm, right now I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go, but I'm thinking about studying for a career in medicine. Um, I'd like to say hi to everybody back home, and also I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Robert Delisle, um, who came here to support us even though he has a really busy schedule. That's really nice. We appreciate that, sir. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, Dan Aslan's next, a sophomore from West Springfield High School. Mm -hmm. An aerospace engineer is something you'd like to become. Yep, I'm the eccentric one on the team. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, always, about that. <laughs> I've always been interested in math and science, and so I decided to uh, pursue a career in, uh, involved in both of those. Good for you. Okay, keep the math part. Dr. Ravelli will have someone to talk <laughs> to after the show. <laughs> Shika Gupta, a senior also. And you swim and run track, and you hope to have a career in pediatrics. That's correct. Um, I'd like to say hi to my family, friends, my nephew, Kale, and our alternates, Tuan Din and Kristen Hackinson. I appreciate you doing that for us. Thank you. And rounding out the team, a senior, Mark Phillips, a golfer. Yes. Uh, hopefully it'll play a part in my future in college, but right now we don't know. I understand you have a pretty good stroke. Oh, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's come on, come on. <laughs> Handicap? It two, floats around one. three or four. Jeez, that's incredible. Good luck to you. Keep playing, Mark. All right. The team coached by Howard Bernard. Howard's been with us for many, many years. We appreciate that. Good luck to you, West Springfield High School. All right. Next on the board, Minichog Regional High School from Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Welcome to you folks. They're also here looking for their first win tonight. We welcome senior Brad Curtis, an Eagle Scout and uh, a member of the Model Congress. Please explain. Um, well, it's a debate club, and I'm interested in public service, and it gives me lots of experience in public speaking. So. Good for you. Good. Enjoy. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, senior Anthony Giacomoni. Mm -hmm. Did I get that? Yes. Okay, yes. good. All right. Senior, also an Eagle Scout. And uh, engineering is also in your future. Yes. I'm also interested in math and science. And a career in engineering would combine both of those. Well, we're gonna, Dr. Ravelli just told me we're going to change all the categories tonight to math and science. <laughs> we'll, we'll, no? Have a battle? No one-on-one? -on -one? I'd just like to acknowledge our alternates, Andy Shea and Greg Wagner. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Anthony. Senior Crystal Sun. Is here. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Kun. <laughs> Kun. Kun. Friends with uh, Sun Fun and Hot Dog Bun. <laughs> Good for you. And you're a pianist. Yes. Uh, I've been playing for about 12 years, and right now I'm working on Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Good. Will you come back and play it for us when you have it down? Certainly. Good. We appreciate that. Anthony Fay, a sophomore. And you love 
politics you were telling me you just love politics what are your aspirations well my eventual aspiration is to be president of the united states it's been something I, I know it's funny but it's been something i've always wanted to do um since Nothing i was, wrong with that well sure but <laughs> it's yeah. just it's kind of been a dream of mine and you know some people think it's kind of funny and far-fetched but yeah, i don't know nothing is talk to a lord president <laughs> young republican democrat uh, i'm a republican all right good for you sir and if that doesn't come for you i understand you want to be a news anchor oh yes yeah a lot of similarities there oh yeah i know <laughs> it could be good luck to you bitterchog regional high school you folks are back up next what's our next category history Mr. for 25 i'm sorry history for 25 Situated on the Red Sea coast in northeastern Africa, the independent republic of Eritrea, or, er, excuse me, Eritrea, was once part of what Af African nation? Nigeria, Egypt, Ethiopia, or Libya? Ethiopia. Thank you. Yes. Go to the screen. Important figures in African history now. Match each with the proper country for five points. Jomo Kenyatta. Kenya. Kenya, yes. Colonel Muammar al-Gaddafi. Libya? Right, yes. Julius Nyeri. Tanzania? Correct. Nelson Mandela? South Africa? Correct. How about Robert Mugabe? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Nicely done. A clean sweep by Minichog Regional. That's how we play it. West Springfield. Uh, grab bag for 25, please. Ten points now. West Springfield. The Jewish holiday Hanukkah commemorates the rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem. To qualify, please spell the word Hanukkah as it's used in the preceding sentence. H-A-N-N-U-K-A-H. No, I'm sorry. A chance to capitalize, Minichark Regional. C-H-A-N-N-U-K-A-H. I'm sorry. You both had it almost correct. In both cases, no double N. Spelled both ways, H-A-N-U-K-K-A-H or C-H-A-N-U-K-A-H. So nobody has it there. Minichai, we stay with you. General knowledge for 25. Planet Mars is often referred to as the red planet. Which of the nine planets is often called the blue planet? Uranus, Neptune, Neptune Jupiter, or Saturn? Neptune. Yes. Okay, for five points each, which planet is the smallest planet? Pluto. Pluto. Correct. The only planet not named after a mythological figure. Earth. Yes. The second smallest planet. Australia. Mercury. Yes. Three of four planets with rings. Saturn, Uranus, and Jupiter. Saturn, Jupiter, and Uranus. All right. Yes. The other, Neptune. You got it. How about Ranger and Pathfinder were probes which explored this planet? Mars. 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 Nicely done. Okay, back to West Springfield, please. Um, sports for 25, please. Believe it or not, the red slippers worn by this actress in the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz, sold for $533,000 at a May 2000 auction. What actress? Judy Garland. You've got it, yes. From the entertainment grab bag now, five points. True or false? Actor-director Clint Eastwood is allergic to horses. True. Yes. Dustin Hoffman and Danny DeVito. Which man is taller? Dustin Hoffman. Danny DeVito. Richard Burton was nominated for an Oscar seven times. How many did he win? None. None is right, yes. Sylvester Stallone wrote and starred in what Oscar-winning 1976 film? Rambo. Rocky. And finally, Harpo is the name of what popular talk show host's production company? Oprah. Nicely done, Oprah. You got it. Minichard, please. Literature for 25. High score. This American poet assumed the name Old Possum when he wrote his collection of comic verse, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. Who? Frost? No, a chance to capitalize West Springfield, you know. T.S. Eliot. We'll stay with West Springfield. History for 20. From Greek for land between two rivers it is one of the oldest inhabited areas in the middle east what place mesopotamia you've got it you're in yes more general history now 10 points during the 1890s the united states referred to these two countries 
as the Yellow Peril. What two nations? Japan and China. Japan and China? That's right, yes. And on September 22nd, 1992, the United Nations voted to expel what European nation from its membership? Yugoslavia? Is right, yes, you got it. Quickly now, Minichad. Social studies for 20. Social studies for 20. Topeka is to Kansas, as what is to Missouri? Jefferson City. Jefferson City? You've got it, you're in. More U.S. state capitals now. See if you can identify the capital city from these rather cryptic clues. I need both the city and state for credit. Both the city and state now. Ted Turner's town. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia? Yes. Our fourth president. Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin? Yes. Marriage, First Communion, and Baptism are three of these. Oh. Sacramento, California? Yes. And try this site of 1692. Which trials? Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon. Nicely done and clean sweep to round it out. With that, folks, I'll be back with the lightning round. Come on back. In a world where opportunity knocks only once, it's Ford's President's Day sales event. A month-long limited engagement that offers the best deal you'll ever see on Ford Ranger. For just $2.29 a month and $4.99 down, Lisa Ranger Super Cab 4x4 with automatic. This is a special allocation of well-equipped Rangers for only $2.29 a month. With a deal like this, once these are gone, they are gone. The President's Day sales event at your New England Ford dealer. The final phase is here for the incredible Chapter 11 bankruptcy going out of business sale at Hamlin Furniture, Northampton. That means time is running out on your chance at unbelievable going out of business prices on all fine furniture, leather, and oriental rugs. Management has issued strict orders to sell it all and sell it fast during this final phase. Regardless of original price, Hamlin's must be broom swept empty. The final phase means the greatest savings at Hamlin Furniture, Northampton. After 16 years in bankruptcy and going out of business forever, the final phase is here. It is a grim reality. Because of Springfield Fire Department. February 6th, firefighters address the public. We're at the lowest point in our history as far as staffing that we've ever been in. 22 News is the only local station to bring you there, live, with continuing coverage throughout the day. They are willing to take that furlough, but he says it's really ultimately up to the larger group. And 22 News talks live with Mayor Albano after his stunning announcement. Do what's right for the citizens of Springfield. Let's get through this for the next two years and move on. For the news you need to know, 22 News is working for you on a special crossing over update. I didn't know my sister. She passed away the year before I was born. When John takes a look back at a magical sibling reunion. One wants me to acknowledge the white rabbit coming out of the hat. I used to do amateur magic. Two sisters who never met finally come together. We like Pat yeah. the rat. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Pat, Pat the water rat. Kind of my way of getting to meet her. On the next crossing over. Monday at 4 on 22 News. All right, this is the way we like to see it played. Our score stands 115 for Westfield, uh, West Springfield High School and 115 for Minichock Regional. It's great. I know the folks on the teams are a little bit uncomfortable with that, but I hope you folks at home are enjoying the match. Now the lightning round, which will determine our winner. Tonight's category, World Geography. It's simple. I'll name two world nations for five points. Do they share a common border or not? All set? Let's please put 90 seconds on the clock. Let's... Go! The United States and Mexico. Minichug. Yes. Correct. Mexico and Nicaragua. West Springfield. Yes. No, you lose five points. Brazil and Ecuador. Minichug. Yes. No, the answer is no, you lose five. Brazil and Venezuela. West yes. Springfield. Yes. Correct, yes. Brazil and Chile. Yes. No, 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 no. No. No, it's no. correct, yes. France and Portugal. West Springfield. No. Correct. Yes. It is no. Five points. <laughs> Greek and Turkey. Minichad. Yes. Is, that is correct answer. Yes. Romania and Moldova. Minichad. Yes. That is correct. Russia and Finland. Minichad. Yes. Yes? Yes. That's also correct. Yes. Finland and Norway. Minichad. Yes. Correct. France and the Netherlands. Minichad. No. That is correct. Italy and Spain. Minichad. No. That is correct. Iran and Pakistan. Minichad. No. That, the, it's, it is, yes, they do. You uh, lose You lose five. Iraq and Kuwait. Minichad. Yes. Correct. China and Mongolia. West Springfield. Yes. Correct. Yes. Saudi Arabia and Oman. West Springfield. Yes. That is correct. Thailand and Vietnam. West Springfield. Yes. 
No, you lose five. Afghanistan and India. West Springfield. Yes. No, they do not. You lose five. Pakistan and India. West Springfield. Yes. Yes, it is correct. Turkey and Syria. West Minishog. Yes. Yes, it's correct. Yes, Egypt and Algeria. Minishog. No. No, I don't know if we got that in time. I'll be back with our final score after some parting words from our sponsors. In a world where 0% means everything, but time is limited. This is an opportunity of economic proportions during Ford's President's Day sales event. Get 0% financing for 60 months on vehicles like Taurus, Ranger, Windstar, and Explorer Sport. And 0% for 60 months could save you thousands over the next five years. It's a story of passion and of saving money. The President's Day event at your New England Ford dealers. Starring 0% financing, your future is now. NBC Sunday starts with an all-new American Dreams in one night. Are you breaking up with me? A family will discover... Go inside and get your money. ...they have an uncertain future. Then, all-new Law & Order Criminal Intent. What drove a doctor to kill? Was it human experimentation? I see what you're doing. Then, catch an all-new episode of the hit, Kingpin. Get on your broomstick and go. American Dreams, Law & Order Criminal Intent, and Kingpin. All-new NBC Sunday. The 22 News I-Team. Investigations making a difference in your life. Tuesday on 22 News at 6. In your golden years, you may need more help than ever before managing your finances. He took it upon himself to access all those accounts that had his name on them. But if you're not careful, you could end up with problems. And took every penny that she had. I can investigate. Patty Smith and the 22 News I-Team. Working for you on 22 News. Let's celebrate Valentine's Day by giving away five Mercedes and five trips, one each night in our Hershey's Hugs and Kisses sweepstakes. They're going to love it. Don't miss Wheels Hershey's Hugs and Kisses sweepstakes, Monday at 7 on 22 News. It's week two of the Jeopardy Steam Tournament. They've made it through the quarterfinals, and they're one step closer to 50 grand and a new car on the next Jeopardy. Be sure to tune in and see who will go all the way. Monday at 7.30 on 22 News. All right, our final score has it 160-125, Minichog Regional High School over West Springfield High School. Well, it was a terrifically played match, tied all the way, and the lightning round was a reflection of just the spirit of the competition. Good match. I'm sorry that you came a little bit on the short side, but uh, the good news is uh, we have Dan and Adam that are uh, going to be coming back with us next year. And good luck to the seniors. Nice meeting you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. All right, congratulations, Minichog Regional High School. Nicely done, you guys. You pulled that one out. Good long lightning round. That's how it's played. I know uh, there was a little tension before we got to lightning round. You guys don't like to see it close. We love to see it close. The folks at home, I'm sure, enjoy seeing a nice close match. You pulled it out in the lightning round. That earns you a trip back next Saturday night when you'll go up against East Long Meadow High School from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. So we'll see you next Saturday night, all right? And folks, I certainly hope we'll see you next Saturday night and every Saturday night at 7.30 for a school's match with. If you miss us, go online, wwlp.com. to Citibank. Save rate 5% rebate on your Shell gasoline purchases, but a new bank and a new card. To continue getting your 5% rebate, just stop in Lenny O'Connell's Convenience Plus Shell and sign up for the new Citibank Shell MasterCard. It's fast and easy, and if you sign up on March 31st, O'Connell's Convenience Plus Shell will give you a 10% rebate on all your Shell gasoline purchases for 60 days. That's a savings of over 14 cents a gallon. So stop in and sign up today. Sunday morning, starting at 7. What can you expect in the months to come? 22 News continues to investigate the effects of the state's budget crisis on you. And celebrate Black History Month with us. Find out what's happening in this area and why this month is so important. Then meteorologist Rick Flubin will be keeping an eye on the Doppler radar. For more on the white stuff. Tune in Sunday morning at 7 and 9 to the only station bringing you weekend morning local news and weather. 22 News.